This is MXUX. In this video, I'm going to go over what the D, what DJ Dan, CEO Dan, said on the conference call. MXUX uh, decoding Dan. I'm going over to parse the words of the CEO in the Q4 21 call. I think parsing out D, uh, CEO Dan's words is very important here. I think he had a lot to say that was very critical, and that's the. The, the nature of this video is going to be short. I'm going to go right to the point here. Okay, the first thing uh, I think it's, that's important to parse out is, this is what DJ Dan said. Good faith negotiations were promised by Foxconn. I'm going to hold their feet to the fire on that. Okay. Uh, on that. Confident we will reach agreement. If not, we have to do something else. So, Hold their feet to the fire on good faith negotiations, okay? This is something very specific he said. Let's talk about good faith negotiations. What are good faith negotiations? In current business negotiations, to negotiate in good faith means to deal honestly and fairly with one another so that each party will receive the benefits of your negotiated contract. When one party sues the other for breach of contract, they may argue the other party did not negotiate in good faith. Okay? So, let's go to negotiating in good faith. A serious and honest effort to reach an agreement uh, to provide each other with all the necessary documentation and information to figure out the agreement. A serious and honest effort to, to meet at reasonable times and negotiate effort to provide all the information records uh, blah 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 that the parties may need to negotiate another aspect of good faith so we've got um, let's just review honest effort information meet at set times provide all the data they need now Neither party will do anything to destroy or injure the rights of the other party to receive the benefits of this contract. So, it's got to be a fair contract, even-handed contract. We can't have one party uh, screwing over the other party or doing anything uh, that will result in the other party getting screwed. Uh, good faith is generally de de defined as honesty in a person's conduct during the agreement. Uh, this means that your performance of the... Un now, this is... Uh, I think you get the gist of that. I am not an attorney, and this is a business case study, certainly not a legal course, or an investment advisory service. So, basically, we've got honest effort, exchange, meet work towards an agreement, an even-handed agreement so that each party benefits from it. And by the way, uh, Dan mentioned that as well, honesty in a person's conduct, okay? This means that your performance under a contract is excused or does not need to happen if your performance is prevented or hindered by the other party to the contract. So what DJ Dan is saying here is, you know, the deal's off, the sale's off, if we don't have, if we don't reach this agreement and it's because of bad faith, uh, uh, not good faith uh, negotiating, then the contract's over. Uh, and uh, in other words, your performance in a contract, this would be Lordstown, does not need to be completed. Don't have to sell the plan. And you won't be considered to have breached the contract. Okay, you're not liable. If the other party is interfering with or fails to cooperate with your performance, the theory behind this principle is the party cannot interfere with or fail to cooperate with your performance and then complain about it. So basically, DJ Dan is laying down the gauntlet here saying, look, if you don't negotiate in good, uh, good faith, we're going to walk out and um, the contract's going to be null and void and, you know, Whatever happens after that, happens after that. And Dan says, if it doesn't work out, we'll do something else. Now, the other other part of this uh, is uh, Dan is stating clearly that uh, LMC is all in 
on this agreement. Okay. So again, party cannot interfere with or fail to cooperate with the performance and complain about it. So they're cooperating in order for them to cooperate with uh, Lordstown. Lordstown's all in. They're saying Foxconn has to be all in. Uh, CEO, and this is uh, CEO Dan, all in remarks. CEO Dan, a win win agreement is the goal, working towards that, but not there yet. Not a done deal by any means. He's very clear about this. LMC is all in with Foxconn. So LMC, okay, is all in on the deal. So what they're implying here is that any interference or ability of, of this deal not coming through is Foxconn. Joint venture. Okay, now this is... This is what he operationally defines as good faith. Joint venture. MIH design. The, the, the MIH design is them uh, conducting uh, the engineering and design of two vehicle programs using the Foxconn MIH uh, platform, which will generate engineering and design fees, which will be paid to Lordstown, which will fund uh, their production. Uh the joint venture is tangible proof Foxconn is all in. So, uh, DJ Dan is saying here, look, we're operating in good faith. We're all in, implying uh, they are negotiating, but not a done deal. And uh, DJ, Dan, uh, uh, DJ Dan, CEO Dan is operationally, operationally defining what, good faith is going to be and tangible proof is the MIH design joint venture and really it's the payments associated with that is tangible proof that both parties are going to profit from this LMC is going to get those payments uh, Foxconn is going to get the plant that's good faith LMC is all in right now Foxconn is not all in, uh, and the operational proof, uh, operational definition of being all in and finalizing this contract in good faith is the the joint venture with the MIH design and the tangible proof uh, associated with it, which is the payments. So that's the deal, and let's just define all in. All in. Uh, adverb risk in a way that risks all your money in a game such as poker i bet he raised i raised back and he went all in he took the view that rather than pass he had better raise all in so dj dan is pushing the chips all in on this deal in a way that shows a lot of determination and willingness to take a big risk in order to achieve something Rather than take a safer pass and keep his day job, Merkley went all in and quit his executive post. Uh, Congress and the president have gone all in to prop up the economy. So DJ Dan has put went all in, put the plan on the line, put everything on the line, and they're willing to take a big. He's, LMC is willing to take a big risk to do something really big. And. Uh, determination and willingness, uh, CEO Dan says he is maniacal about completing this process. This is really the most important thing on the call, this analysis, and it is, I believe, directed more at Foxconn than to the shareholders. However, very informative to the shareholders. I hope you like this presentation. I want to keep this short. You can uh, pause all this and go over this uh, in your own time frame. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I appreciate it.